judge today's case is love and hip hop. I've got a young, good looking couple here. No outside babies, no side pieces. Everybody's got a job. I wonder what could be wrong. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Najee Phillips and Douglas Freeman. The two of you have been together for three years, living together for two years. You have no children together, nor any children from previous relationships. Congratulations. Uh, <laughs> you do not want to be together anymore, Ms. Phillips. You're suing Mr. Freeman for $750, and we'll talk about that momentarily. But before we do, Ms. Phillips, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about this relationship and why we're here in divorce court today? Your Honor, I've been with my boyfriend for a while now, and I just feel like recently he's kind of been pressuring me to have kids. I feel like it's because of the, his friends. He has friends that are around 29 years old with, like, six kids by five different baby mamas, and I think he's getting influenced by them. I understand he's getting older, but mm -hmm. me personally, the way I was raised, I'm not pushing out your babies until you put a ring on it. So, mm -hmm. does anybody see a ring? Y'all see a ring? No ring, right? Oh. So no babies. Say it again for the people in the back. Mr. No ring, Freeman, no is that true? Are you no. a little concerned about your progeny? Your Honor, I feel for us to have children, I feel like I bring all my family members around her to let her know to get adapted to the children. So when we have our children, we'll be adapted to them. But like when me and her be in the like, let's say I go get my family members or whatever, bring right. them there or whatever. I try to show her that I'm able to be responsible to have kids so we can have it. I don't want to wait till I'm 50, 60 years old to have kids? Come on, that's crazy. Mr. Freeman, you're 28. I'm 28. <laughs> I'm saying I wasted you're enough time. A, you're a veritable child yourself. I, I wasted enough time. I'm 28. I'm in my prime. I feel like if I want to have kids, like, for example, she won a $100,000 wedding. $100,000 wedding? So I ain't got $100,000. So I could probably make ten, but $100,000, like, <laughs> ring probably gonna be twenty. So I look at it like, Let's have a kid and let's work from there. You feel me? Like, that's what I feel. And I, I do not feel you. <laughs> <laughs> I do not feel you. Let me ask you this. You looking for a $100,000 wedding? Yes. Yes. Why? I have high standards and I feel like I shouldn't lower them just because... I have high standards, too. I went to a justice of the peace. Okay. <laughs> Married 32 years. The biggest weddings are the shortest marriages, I swear. You know, Kim Kardashian, that dude, 72 days. Took her longer to pick out the dress than it did to be married to her. <laughs> you know what I mean? You look at, that's just a party. You have that party with, like on your 25th wedding anniversary, then you can spend that kind of money. $100,000, you're never gonna get married, honey. You, you know what I'm saying? He's yeah. 20, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's the wrong goal. The goal is to have him like for 40 years. Yeah. Not to have one party. Right. Yeah. But I'm with you on the kid thing, and I'm gonna fuss at him about that later. <laughs> what concerns do you have about him? I, I, I understand that you feel like he's, he's not faithful. What, What's bothering you in that regard? I feel like every single week it's something new. Like, we'll be making progress, and then three weeks later it'll be another thing. He'll be, um... Give me some examples. Like, for example, um, I caught him online commenting under women's pictures talking about some lit. What's so lit about a girl in a bikini? He said, oh, I do music with her, that's why I'm commenting on her stuff, it's networking. What does music have to do with her in a bikini is all I'm saying, talking about lit. Like, he's just very embarrassing. But lit's pretty and common, though, isn't it? It's not intimate or sexual, I mean, it's lit. Yes, right. It's not just that, though, right. it's like, it's heart eyes and, and the DMs, it's like, it's, it's more than that, John, though, it's like... She missed the concept of the picture, though. The picture had a dog in there that was brought back to life from animal cruelty. So oh, I looked okay. at the situation like, that's lit. You took a dog that was had his face almost ate off and brought it back to life, and you showing videos, I put lit. She get offended. She missed the concept. She saw the female in there, heels on, dress on, and she's like, oh, yeah, he trying oh, to, yeah, he trying to get holler at that. Yeah, yeah, he trying to yeah. connect with that. So I'm like, but at the same time, though, it's very, like, impatient moments with her, though. Like, it be impatient moments with her. I understand you caught, you woke up one day to find that, Find her yelling at a girl on your phone. On my phone. Explain, uh, tell me what happened. Uh, I got drunk that night. So, <laughs> I got drunk. Full disclosure. I didn't want to drive, because drinking and driving is bad. Yep. So, I spent the night on my friend's couch for like six, seven hours. It was about seven o'clock when I came in in the morning time. So, when I come in in the morning, I fall around right the bed, collapse. Me, I don't hide my phone, ain't nothing to hide. I leave it on the floor. I'm, I don't know if I was dreaming, but I heard communications like, oh, 
why you calling my man, da, da, da. I get up, like, oh, she talking to the girl on the phone, and the girl, like, it ain't your business why I'm calling, and she went from there, and I'm like, get my phone back, get my phone back. She like, oh, now you got these females calling your phone while um, you sleep or whatever, who you talking to, who is um, this person on your phone? I'm like, I rap with her. She's an artist of mine, you know? Like, I really do business with her. Ms. She Phillip, understand that. Do you remember what we, what the incident we're talking about? I do remember this You incident. tell me your version of that. Um, I... I saw in his recent calls a young lady and I called her. Her name was, I'm not even gonna say her name, but I called her and basically she told me that it was none of my business and- Why did you call her though? She was calling like five times and it was early in the morning. He, he was already gone until 2 a.m. So she called like around 6 a.m. like five times and I'm like, you had to have been hanging out with somebody the night before because why is she calling you so many times in the morning? So I answer and I'm like, okay, why, wh who are you? And she's like, oh, I'm an artist, mind your business. Um, I'm only talking to Dougie, I'm not talking to you. Da -da -da. She banged it up on me, she hung up on me. And I just don't believe his story because it just Have doesn't you ever, Tell me the most incriminating thing you've caught him doing. The most incriminating thing I've saw him do is make a dating profile. And in the About Me, it had all the key words that I helped him build his resume with, and he was, like, selling himself to women. Talking about well-organized, outstanding guy, well-spoken. <laughs> you made a dating <laughs> profile that said well-organized? Neat and, and studious and all this Did stuff. Did you do well that, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Freeman? Yes, I made a profile, but it wasn't in the intentions on that. It was like, um, people pay you to be their friend. You know what I'm saying? I felt like, hey, you gonna pay me two, three hundred dollars to be your friend? Hey, for a couple hours, I'll do it. You know? I have the evidence right here, Your Honor. Now, Mr. Freeman, I was right with you. <laughs> I, I was right there with you till you say, people pay you to be their friend. How does one come across a person who's looking to pay two to three hundred dollars for a friend? Well, they got ads that pop up and they popped up in my face and I'm like, oh, this is a nice little... Thing what kind do. of ad do they have? Um, people, it's a um, friend me. It's like, um, be friends and get paid. Is that I'm true? Like, I'm like, yo, it's, it's online I've right now. You can Google it. Is that true? I've never Google heard it. of that in my life. I am passionate about my work. I am ambitious and driven. I am highly organized. I'm a people person. I'm a natural leader. I'm results oriented. I'm an excellent communicator. Man, I hope that isn't a dating site because you don't sound that interesting. <laughs> <laughs> if I was looking up for an assistant or something. She ordered her some clothes online, you know? Like, I didn't get to see the clothes until they came in, and she wanted me to wear it for her birthday. It was two pink outfits, couple matching, with Care Bears all over them. <laughs>
not just the shirt, the pants had Care Bear right here, here. You seen the Care Bear, blue, yellow, pink. And I'm like, you want me to wear this? And I didn't wear it. She got mad, upset with me. So I'm like, come on now, Care Bear though. Pink though, army petite. Did sweat you suit. want him to wear pink Care Bear? Yes. Matching army outfits petite. for your birthday? Yes, Your Honor, because he's a big fan of Cameron, and Cameron actually made pink poppin' for dudes. So I just figured, I just figured, you know, I don't know, I figured he'd like it because he likes Cameron. Plus, oh. I always pick out our outfits. Look at what he's wearing today. Thank you. Because I, I did it. I did it. He looks good, right? He looks good, right? Hot yeah, mess. I, I did that. I don't think I asked for too much. Post my music, support me. Where I like you care, care you're excited for what I have going on. Be excited. That's it. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and for exclusive content, go to Apple TV. I want to know a reason why you don't trust him because I haven't heard anything yet that makes that this brother is suspect. Okay, Your Honor, if this man claims he loves me like he does, he should want to see me be successful. He should want to see sure. me advance in my career. Sure. I'm an artist. I'm, I'm always putting out content, and I feel like it's pulling teeth, asking him to just promote it, help me put out flyers. I had a show, I had to sell tickets. He would even stand what outside. What do you sing? And... What? I rap. You rap, okay. Yes, Your Honor. He would even stand outside and pass out the, um, try and sell the tickets with me. Like, he doesn't even post my music when I put out a brand new song, and he has so many followers. He just, it feels like when I have an event, I have to perform he could care less. He's like, I don't really want to go. You sure? That's a small venue. You could do better. Like, he just doesn't Mr. care. Mr. Freeman, are you less than supportive of your girlfriend's career? I would say, if I'm on my phone and I'm doing something, don't expect me to post it right then and there. But I'm doing something, like, I I'm texting my mother or something, Not a family right. member, you know? I'm texting a family member. And she'd be like, post me. I'd be like, I got you later. Post me now. Take a step back from yourself. Are you a little impatient? A little bit, but I don't think I asked for too much. I don't think I asked for too much. Post my music, support me. We I like pink you care, but you're excited for what I have going on. Be excited. That's it. But she got to understand something, Yana. Everything can't happen when you want it to. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Everything can't happen when you want it to. And I tell her that every day. Like, all right, I'm going to post it. I might post it an hour later. I'm not posting it two minutes into my situation that I got going on on the phone. You Is know? an hour later too long? Yes. That, he's lying. He doesn't. He might post it an hour later, but that's it for the rest of the six months. He'll post it once for six months, and then he'll sh post it again to shut me up. It's not genuine. It's not coming from the heart. I don't think he really cares. He's worried about his own career, period. You want $750 for the cost of overtime that you had to pay for a video shoot. Yes. Tell me about that. He's very unsupportive. He's very... Um, concerned about his own career. So I had a video shoot that I had to be at, and I gave him the address as to where we were gonna go. I was more concerned about my outfit and getting ready before um, we got there, and he brought me to a whole different location, like 45 minutes away from the actual location. He claimed that he had no idea that he put in the wrong Broadway junction. There's two Broadway junctions in Brooklyn. He went to a whole different one on the whole other side. And he was like, oh, I didn't know. I guess I guess he'll do it another time. But here's the thing, I still had to pay. Like, I did a deposit and I still had to oh, pay for the people baby, who showed right, up. Right, right, the whole right. crew that showed up but for us. But wasn't that just a screw up? And as opposed to didn't care, he just, he didn't get the wrong address on purpose. And you apparently didn't know which one, because you were going to the wrong address with him. Yeah. And, yeah, and I was doing my makeup saying? in the car, so I didn't yeah. even really pay attention it's... that we was in the wrong... No, I'm not done. We was in the wrong neighborhood. And I just feel like every single month is something new. It's so hard to move forward in our relationship and want to have kids with you if every three, every three weeks is something new. I can't even get a chance to... What happened three weeks ago? Three weeks ago, it was an issue about coming here. Yeah. He didn't want to come here. He's like, oh, you gonna put us out there like that? This is personal stuff. I, 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 I. Like, it's always an issue. She's trying to help us. But yeah, you gotta understand something. Let's keep it on the situation where she say I didn't make it to her video um, thing. Oh, in time. I'm, 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 mm. no you, video. You off the hook about that? Don't worry about okay. it. You were both in the car together. It was her shoot. It was her obligation. And if you, you know, you should. She should have made it clear which one it was. You didn't know. You would. You weren't driving to the wrong place on purpose. You but wanted her to get there. Do no, you no, think no. This I'm also right though. I'm, I, no, listen. I'm trying to do you a mad solid here, brother. Okay. Be <laughs> I'm about to advocate 
on your behalf. I'm, I'm about to about to cheer for you. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go there for you. Look at me. <laughs> I have seen tacky, tired, trifling, no count brothers in here, not just brothers, dudes in here with women chasing them around. They are flirting, having break babies, side pieces. Everything is wrong. This brother is a good one. Yes, honor. Yes. He talks about his rap career. Mm-hmm. But he does his sanitation gig to bring in right now money, waiting on that someday money. Most don't do that. This oh. guy <laughs> ain't got no side babies. He's not running around on you. You are mad, insecure. Ain't no man gonna put on no pink Care Bear outfit <laughs> for you. They're just not gonna do it. You got, you have a bit of a high school attachment to the idea of what a boyfriend is. A boyfriend is everything to you, and he, and he wants to be with you all the time and go with you all the time and wear matching outfits with you. <laughs> That's not what that is. A, a man that you love and you grow with and you can build with, you don't need to know where he is all the time. You need to know that he is about you and that you can trust him and that you're woman enough to go about on your own if you can't trust him one day. But don't kill him with, with that connection. Don't put a leash on him and choke him to death with it. You got a good brother here. Mm -hmm. so you got so to be cool. strong in yourself. Good brothers wants a strong sister who is calm and cool and collected and knows she's a bad chick and know he's gonna come home because that's what he's doing. He's out with his friends sometimes. Who cares? You're both good-looking people. You're intelligent people. You ain't got no kids with nobody. You're educated. I want you to be together so badly, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear what I said to you? Yes, Your Honor, I heard you loud and clear. I'm gonna tell you something. I give you every book I ever wrote. Just gonna give them to you, all of them. I'll take I them give all. you the one about emotional intelligence. Okay. I give you the one about making marriage work. I'll give you the one about being a great te a, a teenage woman. Cause please don't lose this brother over here. Yes. Please. Okay. Please, you, please, please. Be more of a cheerleader. Rah, rah, support her a little bit because women can be very hard on themselves about what they do. My husband is like, yeah, I'm the baddest thing ever. You know, it, it, it never bothers him. And I'm like, well, maybe, well, maybe. We need a little bit of push, a little bit of mm, -mm. Yeah. And give her a little bit of yours because it'll mean everything to her. Do you understand that? Yeah. And stay strong on that no, baby, no ring, no baby thing. Strong yes, on that. Thank you, Your Honor. See? And when you get to, when you get around, <laughs> if, if I get her cooled out, don't lose her, cause she's fabulous too. Yeah. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. <laughs> fabulous. All right, Judge Lynn likes you guys. Okay, she's rooting for you. What's some of your uh, thoughts now and feelings after uh, hearing what you have to say? I feel like I need to trust him a little bit more and take the leash off of his neck and know my place as his girlfriend and not his best friend as well, and maybe things will get a little bit better. You think Judge Lynn got through to her a little bit? Yeah, I think she really put it on her, you know, because I love this woman to death and all, you know, but, you know, I just feel like she needed to hear that from the judge mm -hmm. herself instead of hearing it from me. Right. 